How to fix Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty not working. Keep crashing, and crashes on startup. If you're a fan of Cyberpunk 2077 and have been eagerly waiting to dive into the new expansion, Phantom Liberty, but are having trouble getting it to work, you're not alone. Many players have reported issues with the game crashing on startup or while playing, which can be frustrating and prevent you from fully enjoying the game. Fortunately, there are some steps you can take to fix these issues and get back to playing as soon as possible. Why Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty not working, keep crashing, crashes on startup. If you are experiencing issues with Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty, such as crashing on startup or during gameplay, there could be several reasons why this is happening. Here are some possible causes. Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty not working. 1. One of the most common reasons for game crashes is outdated drivers. If your graphics card or other hardware drivers are not up to date, it can lead to compatibility issues and cause the game to crash. 2. Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty is a demanding game that requires a powerful system to run smoothly. If your computer does not meet the minimum system requirements, you may experience issues such as crashes, freezing, and low frame rates. 3. If the game files are corrupted or missing, it can cause the game to crash or not work at all. Verify the integrity of the game files through the Game Launcher or Steam to ensure that all files are present and not corrupted. 4. Overheating can cause your system to shut down or crash. Check your system's temperature and make sure that it is not overheating. You can also try cleaning your computer's fans and vents to improve airflow. 5. Other software running on your computer could conflict with Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty and cause it to crash. Try closing any unnecessary programs and disabling antivirus software temporarily to see if it resolves the issue. By identifying the cause of the issue, you can take steps to fix it and get back to enjoying Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. How to fix Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty not working, keep crashing, crashes on startup. If you're experiencing issues with Cyberpunk 2077's Phantom Liberty expansion, such as the game not working, crashing on startup, or continuously crashing during gameplay, don't worry. There are a few troubleshooting steps you can take to resolve these issues and get back to playing. 1. The first step in troubleshooting is to ensure that your system meets the minimum requirements to run Cyberpunk 2077. Check the system requirements for the Phantom Liberty expansion to make sure your computer meets the specifications. If your system does not meet the minimum requirements, you may need to upgrade your hardware or software to run the game. System requirements Minimum Requires a 64-bit processor and operating system. OS, 64-bit Windows 10 Processor, Core i7-6700 or Ryzen 5 1600 Memory, 12GB RAM Graphics, GeForce GTX 1066GB or Radeon RX 588GB or ARC A380 DirectX, version 12 Storage, 35GB available space Additional notes, attention, see upcoming change to the requirements. Storage, 35GB SSD. In this game you will encounter a variety of visual effects that may provide seizures or loss of consciousness in a minority of people. If you or someone you know experiences any of the above symptoms while playing, stop and seek medical attention immediately. Recommended. Requires a 64-bit processor and operating system. OS, 64-bit Windows 10. Processor, Core i7-12700 or Ryzen 7 7800 X 3D. Memory, 16GB RAM. Graphics, GeForce RTX 2060 Super or Radeon RX 5700 XT or Arc A770. DirectX, version 12. Storage, 35GB available space. Additional notes, storage, 35GB SSD. 
2. Make sure your graphics card drivers and operating system are up to date. Outdated drivers can cause issues with the game, including crashes and other performance problems. Check the website of your graphics card manufacturer to download and install the latest drivers. 3. Sometimes game files can become corrupted or missing, causing issues with the game. To fix this, you can verify the integrity of game files on your platform. Here's how to do it. On Steam. Open Steam and go to your library. Right-click on Cyberpunk 2077 and select Properties. Click on the Local Files tab. Click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. On GOG. Open GOG Galaxy and go to your library. Click on Cyberpunk 2077 and select More. Click on Manage Installation. Click on Verify slash Repair. 4. If your computer is struggling to run Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty, try lowering the graphics settings. Here's how to do it. On PC. Open Cyberpunk 2077 and go to Settings. Click on Graphics. Lower the graphics settings to a lower level. 5. Overclocking your graphics card or processor can cause stability issues in games. If you have overclocked your hardware, try disabling it and see if that fixes the issue. 6. If your game is still crashing during gameplay, try lowering the graphics settings. This can reduce the strain on your computer and improve stability. Open the game settings and lower the graphics settings until you find a level that works for your system. 5. If none of the above solutions work, you can try reinstalling the game. This will ensure that all game files are fresh and not corrupted. Hopefully, one of these solutions will fix the issue with Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty not working or crashing. If you're still having issues, you may want to contact the game's support team for further assistance. By following these troubleshooting steps, you can resolve issues with Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty and get back to playing the game. Thank you.